In this lesson, we will learn about rationalization. First, we'll see what is rationalization. So, rationalization is to change a irrational number to a rational number. To a rational number. Let's take up an example. We see under root 7. Now, under root 7 is an irrational number. Now, if we want to change it to a rational number, we do is multiply it again by under root 7. So, under root 7 into under root 7 becomes 7. Or we could write it's under root 7 into 7, that is under root 49, and that is 7. Now, let's go ahead and rationalize under root 5. Under root 5, the rationalizing factor of under root 5 will be also under root 5. Now, under root 5 into under root 5, I'm going to go straight on and write under root 5 into under root 5 will be 5. I'm skipping the other steps. Under root 2, what is the rationalizing factor of under root 2? Now, under root 2 is irrational, but when I multiply it by another under root 2, now my answer turns 2, which is now rational. So, rationalization is to change an irrational number to a rational number. Now, if I'll take under root 11, it's an irrational. I want to make it rational. So, I multiply it with under root 11. So under root 11 is a rationalizing factor of under root 11. And here my answer will turn out 11. So now it has turned rational. Let's go to some other kind of sums. Like suppose I have 2 under root 3. Now what has made it irrational? This under root 3. So I need to multiply it only by another under root 3. And now I would get 2 under root 3 into under root 3 will be 3. So that is 6. So it has turned rational. Suppose I have 5 under root 13. Now this is an irrational number. So to make it rational, I need to just multiply it by under root 13. And then I get equal to, this is 5 here, under root 13 into under root 13 is 13. It has turned rational which is equal to 65. Let's take up another one, say 4 under root 2. So I, under root 2 is irrational. To make it rational, I need to multiply it just by under root 2. So I get 4 under root 2 into 4 under root 2 would be 4. And root 2 into root 2 is 2. So the answer comes 8. For 7 under root 6. For this, I would multiply it by under root 6 because it's the under root 6 that is irrational. And here you get 7. Under root 6 into under root 6 is 6. So the answer is 42. Now, 42 is rational by 7. Under root 6 was irrational. So rationalization is changing an irrational number to a rational. Let's take up some more examples. For example, I want to find the rationalizing factor of 2 minus under root 3. So I have here a minus b. I will multiply it into 2 plus root 3. a minus b into a plus b, I know, is a square minus b square. So here I'll have 2 and under root 3. 2 into 2 is 4. Under root 3 into under root 3 is 3. So the answer is 1. So I have made, I have rationalized it. For another sum, let me take 2 minus under root 3. It's conjugate. We call the rationalizing factor as a conjugate. Now, it's conjugate. Since this is a minus b, the conjugate will be a plus b. That is 2. That was a repeated sum. Let me do another one. Let me take up under root 2 plus under root 3. The rationalizing factor or its conjugate I have a plus b will be under root 2 minus under root 3, which is now equal to a plus b, a minus b, a square minus b square. So I'll have under root 2 
under root 3, under root 2 into under root 2 is 2, under root 3 into under root 3 is 3, so our answer is minus 1. It has turned rational. Let me just bring to your notice here, if it is plus, here you write minus. If it is minus, the conjugate will be plus. So the formula then becomes A minus B, other one becomes A plus B. If A plus B is given to you, in the conjugate or rationalizing factor will be A minus B. For the next one, we'll do under root 41 minus 5. So I have A minus B and its conjugate or rationalizing factor will be under root 41 plus 5. So again, this would be A plus B, A minus B, A square minus B square. So here I have under root 41, 5. Under root 41 into under root 41 is 41. 5 into 5 is 25. And to this, the answer is 16, which is rational. Now for 3 minus under root 2, that is A minus B, its conjugate will be A plus B, 3 plus under root 2, which equals A plus B, A minus B, A square minus B square, that is A is 3 and B is root 2. 3 square is 9 minus 2, the answer is 7. Now here are three more expressions given to you. Please go ahead, pause the video and go ahead and try to rationalize them. The first one is under root 6 plus under root 3 and its conjugate or rationalizing factor will be under root 6 minus under root 3 because here plus a plus b then the conjugate fact, uh, factor will be a minus b and a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square so under root 6 under root 3 that will be 6 minus 3 and the answer is 3. For the next one, we have under root 6 plus under root 5 and its conjugate will be or rationalizing factor will be under root 6 minus under root 5. So this was A plus B. Here I have A minus B. And for this, the answer will be A plus B, A minus B, A square minus B square. So it would be under root 6, A and under root 5 is the B. Under root 6 into under root 6 is 6. Under root 5 into under root 5 is 5. And the answer is 1. Now for the next we have under root 10 plus under root 3. A plus B. And your A minus B will be under root 10 minus under root 3. So here we have plus and this is minus. So A plus B, A minus B is A square minus B square. So this is under root 10 and under root 3. Under root 10 into under root 10 is 10. Under root 3 into under root 3 is 3. So the answer is 7. Now let's go ahead and find the conjugate or rationalizing factor of 3 plus 2 root 5. 3 plus 2 root 5, the conjugating factor will be 3 minus 2 root 5. Because here we have a plus b, then we take a minus b, which is equal to a square minus b square. And we know this is our a plus b. This is a minus b. So for the a, I'm going to put 3. And for the b, 2 root 5. Now 3 square is 3 into 3, which is 9. And minus 2 root 5 into minus root 2 root 5. Let me do it here. 2 root 5 into 2 root 5. 2 into 2 is 4. Root 5 into root 5 is 5. So this answer is 20. So here I have to write 9 minus 20, which is minus 11. So next is 15 plus 3 under root 2. So I have A plus B. The conjugate will be A minus B, or the rationalizing factor will be A minus B. So it is 15 minus 3 under root 2 which is equal to now a plus b, a minus b, a square minus b square. So I have here 15, and this is 3 under root 2. See here, this was plus a plus b. My, con my conjugate or rationalizing factor will be a minus b. And 15 into 15 is 225. 
3 root 2 into 3 root 2. Now I'll do it mentally. 3 into 3 will be 9. And root 2 into root 2 will be 2. So this will be 18. So in this case, the answer will be 207. So for 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6, its conjugate or rationalizing factor, a minus b, will be a plus b plus 2 root 6. So a plus b into a minus b will be a square minus b square. Your a is 3 under root 5 and the b is 2 under root 6. Now 3 under root 5, the whole square, will be 3 square which is 9 and root 5 into root 5 is 5. So this is 45. So I write 45 here minus 2 under root 6, the whole square. 2 square, 4, root 6 into root 6 is 6. So this answer is 24. So here is 24. So this is equal to 21. We'll go to a little higher level sum. Suppose you want to find the rationalizing factor of under root 8. For this you need to simplify 8 first. So you have 8, do short division, 2's are 4, 2's are 2, 2's are 1. So you know under root 8 is 2, 2, 2, right? And since it's a square root, you have to make groups of 2. So I have here group of 2. So this would be now 2. What would remain inside is under root 2. Now I'll, now I'll rationalize under root 2. Remember under root 8 is nothing but 2 under root 2. So to rationalize this, all I need to do is multiply it by root 2. So then I will get 2 root 2 into root 2 is 2, which is 4. Similarly, if I want to rationalize under root 27, first I will break up 27 and simplify it. So this is 9, 3, 3. So under root 7 can be simplified as 3, 3, 3. Now this is square root, so I make groups of 2. So this will be 3 under root 3. So under root 27 is equal to 3 under root 3. So the rationalizing factor now will be into under root 3. So it will be 3 root 3 root 3 is 3. So that would be 9. Let's get on to another one, say under root of 125. So I need to simplify 125. So 125 I divide, this is 5, 25, the short division, 5 and 5. So under root 125 will be 5, 5 and 5. So I make groups of 2, that is 5 under root 5. So under root 125, if I want to rationalize, under root 125 is 5 under root 5. Now we know how to rationalize 5 under root 5. A rationalizing factor will be under root 5. The, so and the answer then comes 5. Under root 5, under root 5 is 5. So it became 25. So all these are rationalizing factors here. Under root 5 is the rationalizing factor of under root 125. Under root 3 is a rationalizing factor. Here, under root 2 is a rationalizing factor. Now, if you want to find the rationalizing factor of under root, say, a cube. So, under root a cube, let us simplify it. It is a, a, a. We make groups of 2. So, a under root a. Now, rationalizing factor of this, you'll definitely agree, is under root a. So you will now get a, under root a, under root a is a, and this is a square. Now for another higher level sums, suppose I want to find rationalizing factor of cube root of 5. Now remember cube root of 5 is an irrational number. To rationalize means to make it rational. So rationalizing factor of cube root of 5 will be cube root of 5 into 5 because I need 3 5's. So now when I rationalize, I will get cube root of 5, 5 and 5. And this is equal to 5. So the rationalizing factor of cube root of 5 is cube root of 5 into 5, that is 25. Let's go ahead and find now the rationalizing factor of 
cube root of 25. What would be the rationalizing factor? Let's first break it up. So it's cube root of 25 is 5 into 5. I require 3 5s. I just have 2 here. So my rationalizing factor in this case will be cube root of just 5. So now I get cube root of 5, 5, 5, 3 fives, which is equal to 5. So here the rationalizing factor is cube root of 5. Let's take up cube root of 7, rationalizing factor. So I need 3 7s inside the third sign to remove the 7 out. So it will be cube root of, 1 7 is already there, 7 into 7. So this is the rationalizing factor, which is cube, cube root of 49. Let us see how it works out to be the rationalizing factor. So it is cube root of, there was first 7 here, and then I put two more 7s. So now I will have cube root of 7 to 7 into 7, 3 7s, which is equal to 7. It's rationalized. Suppose now I want to find the rationalizing factor of cube root of A. So I need to multiply it by cube root of, there is one A, I need two more. So this is now equal to cube root of, I had one A first and the, I added two more now, A and A. So I have three A's and, the rush, and cube root of A, A, A will be just A. So the rationalizing factor in this case is cube root of a square. Suppose we want to find the rationalizing factor of cube root of 16. Let's break up 16 first. Cube root of 16. 16 is 2, 2, 2, and 2. Here because it is cube root, I need to make groups of 3. So this is 2 cube root of 2. Now the rationalizing factor, remember this is cube root, so I need three two. So it will be cube root of, there is already one here, I need two more. So I will now get here two, and this will be cube root of the first two, and the other two that I have added, that is two and two. So this would be now two into two, and will be four. So the rationalizing factor in this case was cube root of 2 into 2, so cube root of 4. Let's see what's the rationalizing factor of cube root of a, a square b. Now cube root, so I need, I have already two a's, so I need another one, and I just have one b, so I need two more b's. So now when I put both these together, I have cube root of, first there was just an a square here, and now I put one more A, and that would give me now three A's. And uh, here I had a B. So I put another two B's, that will give me B square. So now I have cube root of A cube and B cube. And cube root of A cube, B cube is A, B. This next sum may not be asked in your exam, but just gives you a very perfect picture of rationalization. So if I want to find the rationalization of a cube, b square, and c. So here I will say fifth root. Now remember there are three a's here. So I need another two because I have to make them five. Two b's, I require another three. And I have one c, so I require another four. This would be the rationalizing factor. And if I put them all together, fifth root of, I first had a cube, I had b square, and I had c. And to that, to make them 5, I put here another 2. For b, I put another 3, so 2 plus 3, 5. And here I put another 1. So on multiplying, I get 6th root of a, a5, b5, and c. Oh, c should be 4 here, right? And c4. Uh, C, 2 plus 4 became, f here's I made a mistake, this should have been now here, I said this was first C, and I needed to make it 5, so I need C, 4, so here too, my C 
would be raised to 5. And this is fifth root, not sixth root. This is fifth. So that would be A, B, C.